Hi, uh, this is Protein Lover here and welcome back to the Injection Technology. Okay. Today uh, I'm right now here in my side. What is going on which I will be showing you right here right now. Okay. Today our excavation work almost completed. No, it will be completed today. Okay. So I want to show you some excavation of foundations. Okay. And then I'll be uh, showing you how the footing marking is done for excavation. So okay. before footing marking what are the things that you have to do or what th are the things that you need to keep in mind during and after or before excavation okay that's all things shall be going to discuss today and i'll be showing you how those things are being carried out okay so see this is my um you can see the jcb is right here okay the jcb is excavating the art and this is our excavated uh, what we call foundations, okay. I, I will be okay, taking you here, okay. Uh, that's why I'm trying to teach you. I will show you everything that you need to know this about putting foundations and excavations, okay. So, stay tuned. I hope you like my video. Keep watching. Please like, comment, and share. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for more information like this, okay. Because I will be bringing you now uh, site works videos most frequently okay so to get more information on regarding said work you need to subscribe and press the bell icon to get a notification as soon as i upload my videos okay so please don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends okay so let's go uh okay before uh showing you the excavations okay i would like to give you quick 360 degree view of my project okay so stay tuned and let me show you the 360 degree view of my project okay yeah starting from here uh, as you can see that cj seat set okay that will be our uh, lever set okay where the lever will be staying here okay next uh, here this one okay you can see uh, that pile okay that is our aggregate okay which we have uh, stored there okay that will be our ag ag aggregate yards all right now next coming to this excavation area this will be the main academic block okay uh, yeah let me tell you uh, so we are doing architecture and urban planning college project here in uh, Meghalaya India okay and then now the other one is JCB JCB means um, back hole loader okay art excavator okay so uh, that art excavator is excavating the foundation and then there okay from here it, it won't be visible okay but that one you can see from far from here that that side will be the girls hostel okay so you see now in 360 degree view we are almost completed now we are back again to this lever set okay so i have shown you the 360 degree view of, of my project area okay now let me take you to um, excavated area okay so i'm moving now you can see okay see this is our aggregate yard okay which i have <laughs> which i was showing you from far okay now i almost reach my uh, foundation area okay foundation is covered area so this is what we have discovered so far okay this one see you see it okay that side also we have completed already and this one we have already completed now going that way we we will be finishing right there at the jcp okay so that side also we have excavated already i will be showing you now yeah see okay like that okay 
Let me touch you here. Yeah. So here we have discovered that proud darling. Okay, without any gap. Okay, just like a mass excavation. Okay. If you know what is mass excavation in individual excavation, that's better. If you don't know, then I will explain you later. Okay. See, this one is individual excavation. Here we have gap gap between the foundation to foundation. Okay. But here you can see there is no gap. Okay. Without gap, we have discovered this one. And in this area, see you can see this is the gap from that footing to this footing, and then from this footing to this footing. Okay, that is the gap. Hmm. So the soil is a little bit soft. Okay, it is a mixed soil, silty like soil. Okay, so this area, this gap has been broken. So yeah, this is several lever only one lever here in this foundation. Okay, he is ramming the out. Okay, and the loose swell little bit it was there. So he is ramming it huh, properly. After ramming, there will we shall sprinkle some little water again. Then we shall ram it again. Okay. So one thing to remember is, is that uh, after excavation of the foundation, uh huh. You need to uh, what we call clean or dressing of the foundation shall be done. Okay, so <coughs> okay. So what I was explaining you that uh, after excavation, okay. So suppose your excavation completed and the next what you have to do is dressing of the foundations okay so after excavation you need to do dressings dressing means the cleaning of this clothes loose swell and all okay so all those loose swell shall be removed okay by your levers and all because like there should not be any um loose swell okay so <coughs> you need to do dressing for that reasons, okay? Because your foundation should be free from any clothes and loose swells. And you should uh, remember that if there is any unevenness, okay, in your foundations, then while dressing you need to cut and level the foundations. All right. Then, like next, I will be uh, explaining you. Okay, I will be explaining you how this foundation or footing marking is done okay so we have already completed marking now okay you have to wait I will show you how the footing marking is done that side okay that is a little bit lumsome uh, means uh, marking we are doing now okay uh, but if you need depth knowledge in depth knowledge then I shall make an another video with drawings and all okay here I cannot explain you with drawings and all okay I will just showing you some like slide overview how this marking and all is being done at side hmm. so again let me go and take you to the excavated uh, side that side okay so let us go So let me take you to this primitive area. Okay. This is our footing is permitted already. Individual footing as I told you. Okay. Finally here we are at the exactly at the excavated location. Okay. See so this is our GCB driver. <laughs> this is a footing combined footing okay we have uh, we have already excavated uh, isolated okay isolated footing okay now this this uh, excavation is going on for um, combined footing okay so see then you can see uh, right here. 
Look at the DCV driver, he is playing with his DCV by lifting all of the bodies of the DCV. Okay. Yeah. There is a boulder we found in our excavated area. Okay. So you need to excavate this side, okay. this side and then I mean all the side, all the four corner of your foundation sides shall be cut in a proper vertical uh, manner, okay, in a proper manner, okay, sides should be very uh, smooth, okay, they shall be excavated exactly according to the, according to your uh, drawing, okay? and besides that you need to keep some offsets for, for, uh, for, for footing excavations, okay, so that offset will be uh, like free space for workers to move around and for giving support of your homework okay so i have shown you the foundations huh. now let me show you the next building okay the next block this is uh, this is our this is our first block okay now be behind this behi be behind this building there will be the second block here okay here and I will show you where well, yeah, this side okay this is our first this is our first block and here from this area it will be the second block okay after that next block will be behind that okay after the second block there is I mean three blocks okay <coughs> basically three three blocks and I shall show you the plans of these build buildings okay whenever I get time I will be showing you okay and that's it. I, I told you, no? that's it. Okay, that's it. You be the or castle stuff. And then that's it. Okay, get be, uh, behind that uh, uh, lever set, there is our boys hostel also. Okay, so <coughs> the, uh, that's all for overview of our project work. Okay, I shall be bringing you some more videos like this. Hmm. And then um, the last one is footing mark. Okay, I will be showing you after this video. Okay, I have to pause this video and then wait till we uh, finish this excavation. And after that, we shall give marking or other footings. Okay. So that time, I shall show you the marking for footing. Okay, how it is done, I shall show you. Okay, everyone, uh, let me show you now uh, hostel block. Okay, that of, uh, which you have seen, that is our academic block. Uh, here now, I am right now here in hostel block. Okay, this is this is the, uh, in this area the hostel will be constructed. Okay, so this will be um, for boys. Okay, this is boys hostel. So guys, this was all about today, okay, so it's time for me now to beat with you, okay, but before that, I want to show you some scenic view of my side, okay, so there it goes, see. All around the project area, there is lots of hills and jungles. Okay. This project is going on at the small hills, hmm. and then the height of that hill is 100 meters high. Okay. It's quite calm and scene is very beautiful. Okay, so again, we shall see 
in the next video okay so see you again thank you everyone